Time flows in contradictions since the invasion. There's an unexpected slowness in the aftermath of an impossible victory. A languid sweetness of air, tasted by the hapless victor. And yet, I also feel the turning of change, and the accumulated minutia that falls to the survivors. Corpses to be burned, fortifications to be rebuilt, neophytes to be blooded. Regardless of our losses, we are the angels of death, and we are always prepared for war. Not that these are concerns for the fledgling Primaris right now. Balfora is an unforgiving tutor. Dante says that you are blood angels! Prove it! Show me that the blood of the great angel flows within your veins. We fight and we die for the Imperium. Death to the Xenos Swarm. <laughs> On Balfour I was born, and should the Emperor will it, on Balfour I will die. My vengeance will be final. Assault Marines ready! On our way! The Swarm has no right to live! On my honor, I await their mistake. Thin their numbers! They will not overwhelm us! Affirmative. Ready to strike! Victory for the Blood Blades! Victory for Skyfall! They will regret coming this close! Battle Line Squad ready! We are the walls! We 
other guns! Roger that! Thin their numbers! They will not overwhelm us! Brothers! Battle line squad ready. Overwatch. The swarm has no right to live! Your orders. Death to the Xenos swarm. Contempt is my armor. The enemy thinks it can stay beyond our reach. Battle line squad ready. <laughs> On Balfour I was born. And should the Emperor win it, On Balfour I will die. You will fall before me. <laughs> With haste. Support! We are the Blood Blades of Skyfall! Ready to strike! You will fall before me. You can fight. I'll give you that. I don't know yet if you truly are scions of Sanguinius, or just some ruse of the Archmagos. Battle will decide. It always does. Immediate assistance required. Tyranids converge at the Voxcaster Relay on the Cell Ferratos Western Edge. Form on me, brothers. It appears Balfora has decided she's not yet done with you.
In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. People are born, they live, they suffer, and die. Rarely of natural causes. Days prior to the fall of Cadia, Dante faced his greatest challenge. High Fleet Leviathan had broken through the Krypton Shield, and the Tyranids bore directly for the sacred homeworld of the Blood Angels. Bar. Sons of Sanguinius rallied from the far corners of the galaxy. Complete strangers died side by side as brothers. Yet even this unprecedented congregation could not hold back the Great Devourer. In their darkest moment, the Blood Angels gathered around Lord Commander Dante. A last stand. They gave themselves to the Red Thirst and stood in defiance of the alien. Not for survival, for the chapter was doomed, but for the honor of their sire, the great Angel Sanguinius. And then, pandemonium, the Cicatrix Maledictum opened and tore the galaxy in two. Time stretched, contorted. Demons of corn poured across the moon of Baal Primus, tearing at Xenos and Marines alike. Havoc reigned. But just as quickly as it appeared, the Cicatrix Maledictum contracted. It took with it both the demons and vast swathes of High Fleet Leviathan. In their place, the Indomitus Crusade appeared, helmed by the Avenging Sun himself, Primarch Robute Gilliman. The Blessed Primarch didn't just bring relief to Baal. He brought with him the Primaris Space Marines, thousands bearing the mark of the Blood Drop. The Primaris were larger, stronger, more resilient than their first-born brethren. But to the Blood Angels, they represented a different kind of salvation. The promise of these super-soldiers was of an improved gene line, more pure, and closer to that of Sanguinius. Away from prying ears, Archmagos Call whispered that they showed fewer signs of the flaws that plagued the great angel's blood. No more thirst beating at their hearts. No more armor to be painted black. A semblance of normality has since returned to Baal. The monolithic Indomitus Crusade prepares to leave. Commander Dante, now Lord Regent of half of the Imperium, works to heal his chapter and bar of the trauma suffered at the hands of Leviathan. And on the moon Baal Secundus, Sergeant Carlion hurries to the aid of a sanguinary priest.